All right, this week's topic is bird identification. So we're going to go through about 35 birds um, that are somewhat common in Minnesota. So we've got 15 minutes or less to get this video done. So I'm going to start rolling here. Um, first of all, we're going to start with the American kestrel. Um, this bird, by the way, I'm going to share this slideshow with you, and it has the names of the birds underneath in the notes section. So you can review and study on your own as well. But this bird is a very pretty bird. It's got a rusty, whoopsie, sorry, um, rusty brown back and tail. It's got the blue coloring. Um, you can't see this, but it has a white breast with black spots, and it's got the double black vertical lines here on a white face. The starling um, looks, I mean, you could kind of say that it looks like it has tiny little uh, yellowish star markings all over the body, um, but it's a smaller bird. We've got a couple different owls on the list. The great horned owl um, has really large ears, not horns, but large ears. It's got the bright yellow eyes. It has a V-shaped throat. Can you kind of see right there the V-shaped marking? And then horizontal barring on the chest. When we talk about barring, we're talking about these spots or bars on the chest area. That's the great horned owl. The short-eared owl is the next owl on the list. This is a smaller owl, and as you can see, it appears to not have any ears up here on the top of the head. And then the screech owl um, is, a, is a tiny little owl you can see in relation to this person's hand, um, very small. Lastly, the barred owl is brown and gray in color. It's a little bit larger than the last two. It has a very large head, um, dark brown eyes. So if you take a look at the eyes in the last couple, they're the great horned and the short eared are similar. Screech is a little bit different, but the barred owl has very dark eyes. Okay, we're gonna move back, move on into the canvas back. Um, this one has the white body, black chest, and the deep mahogany red colored um, neck and head. It's got the very deep red eye color there too. So this is the canvas back. Number eight is the great blue heron. Um, it's got that blue color. There's nothing else on our list that looks like it. It's got the very long beak and long legs. Here we've got the wood duck. Um, one thing I want you to make sure you pay attention to is the male and the female. Of A lot of these birds are different. And oftentimes the male is the brightly colored um, species, you know, member of the species. The mallard, or I'm sorry, the wood duck, sorry, has a green head and a crest patterned with white and black. So you can see the crest area right in here. Um, and it's got the rusty chest, red eyes. Okay, we moved on, move on to the ruffed grouse. I always think of I, this one, like it looks like somebody took their hand and ruffled the feathers on the top of the bird. So this is the ruffed grouse. It's brown, it's a chicken-like bird. It's got a squared off tail down here. And it also has a white band on the tip of the tail right over here. If you look next to my mouse, um, you should be able to see that. The Wilson snipe um, is a smaller bird, very long beak. We move on to the teal. Uh, we've got both the male and the female version here. Um, male has color on its head. Female has just the wingtip color of teal. Here we've got the mallard. Um, this is the male here, brightly colored green iridescent head, uh, yellow beak. And this one almost looks like it's laughing at us. Uh, the grackle, most people think this is a blackbird. When they see it, it is a large blackbird, but it's got the um, iridescent blue back and head and chest area. Okay, this is the Cooper's hawk. Um, the Cooper's hawk has that orangish colored eye. It's got the brown and white barring on the chest. It's a very plump bird. Uh, we've got a couple of other hawks. This is the one that has the most of the brown patterning. Patter patterning, sorry. The Broadwing hawk has the brown back with the rusty red barring on the chest. You can see that kind of that rusty red color here, the barring on the chest. The tail has two to three wide black and white bands that you can see alternating here. And the white underwings almost looks like this bird has black fingertips when you see it in flight. Okay, so once again, that's the broad-winged hawk. 
The red-tailed hawk has the brown top with black barring, um, but it's got the characteristic red tail. Underside of this bird is white with a dark patch on the leading edge near the shoulder, but you can't see that here. Okay, this is the sharp-shinned hawk. It's got a squared off tail. If we look back at some of our other hawks, um, the tails are more rounded. The sharp-shinned hawk has that kind of that squared off tail look. Okay, we get to the Canada goose or Canadian goose. It's got the black head with the white chin strap. Um, we hear these around here quite a bit, the honking noise. We should be hearing them coming back for the spring here soon. The whistling swan has a white body, black beak, and black feet. Um, very characteristic other than, you know, the, the two black patches. Um, we're going to look at the snow goose here in a second so i'm just going to flip back and forth the snow goose has the black wing tips do you see where the color of the feet here um, and the color of the beak so the whistling slant swan has the black this is a really sad picture of a ring-necked pheasant sorry about that um but uh we we've seen pheasants around here very often this is um golden brown body with a long tail it's got the white ring around the neck Okay, and this is the male. Okay, back to the snow goose. Snow goose um, has the orange feet and beak, but it's got the black wingtip. So once again, this is the snow goose. Go back here to the whistling swan. They look very different when you look at them. Uh, this is my favorite bird here on the list. That's going to be your question afterwards to make sure you really paid attention to this video. Uh, I love the ruddy duck. I don't know, something about this blue beak. It's just a... a a cute duck. So this is the ruddy duck, R-U-D-D-Y. Uh, it's got the blue beak and it has the tail feathers that kind of stand straight up. Okay, the sharp-tailed grouse. Um, this has uh, some neat color patterns up there on the top of the head and the neck. So the yellow on the top of the head and the pink here on this, the neck. Um, sharp-tailed grouse, the tail feathers kind of come to this point. Okay, the northern harrier. Um, looks like one of the hawks, to be honest with you. But if you think back to the Cooper's hawk, I'm going to scroll back here and show you that. So the Cooper's hawk has this really light brown modeling on the um, chest area. And we go back to the Northern Harrier. It's much deeper brown in color, and it's got the white leading edge of a lot of the feathers. Here's the common loon. This is Minnesota State Bird. That is your other question that I'm going to have you post. Um, probably knew that already, but just want to make sure you're paying attention. We get to the red-winged blackbird. Um, this is a smaller bird, about eight and a half inches. Uh, this is the male that we see, and we see these around here quite a bit. Get If you get out for a walk, um, stay away from people, but uh, get out and see if you can find some of these birds. Okay, the woodcock is the next bird on the list. It's got a long beak. Look around the eye. It's got this white um, ring around the eye. Those are characteristics of the woodcock. The pintail, um, the tail feathers come to a very sharp pin-like point. That's the easiest characteristic. And then we've also got this iridescent blue beak. The Hungarian partridge is kind of a chicken-like bird, maybe a prairie chicken-like bird. Um, so we've got an elongated neck. It's kind of stretched out in a really short beak. Okay, here's the redhead. Um, the redhead has a deep mahogany red head. Um, it's got the bluish gray beak with the black spots on the beak. The ring neck duck. Uh, I always think this is an interesting name because the rings are actually around the um, beak, not around the neck, but you can see the white rings there. And we're going to finish out with the house sparrow. This is a very small bird, small beak. Um, different than most of the birds on our list here. So hopefully this gives you an overview. I'm going to upload this video and I'm also going to upload these Google Slides um, right below what you see here on the screen down here. Um, you're going to see the name of all of these. So you can flip through as a full screen slideshow and quiz yourself to help prepare you for your quiz next week. Good luck. I'm sorry, your quiz this week. Good luck.